there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over an example of how you can use the rounding formula if you want to round your numbers. So with this example, I have some information filled out in one of the templates we have at timesavingtemplates.com. This is the pay structure design template, and it's part of a package called the Base Pay Bundle. I'll link to that in the comments, but you can also find that by going to timesavingtemplates.com and look for the human resources section. I also have another video that goes over how to use all the different tabs and to come up with these ranges. But for now, I'm making some adjustments, so I figured I would record as I'm showing you how I'm gonna be rounding. You'll see I'm starting out with some salary ranges, and what I would like to do is round them. If you click into the cells, you'll see this number at the top. It's a huge, long, lot of data past the decimals. And even though we have the cells formatted, so if you right click in format cells, even though I have it formatted to not show the decimals, if I do any type of calculations, it's actually adding up what is actually there even though we're not showing it. But besides that, I want a nice rounded number for these ranges. I don't want the dollars. We could either round to the 100 or the thousands. So I'm gonna go over here and put my formulas to the right. So if you click on this, option for the formulas and just type in round you'll see that we have a few options we could round the numbers down we could round up or we could just round to the nearest so just know you have those options i think i'm gonna just do a round to the nearest so i'll just do the first option and then you're gonna select the number you want to round so i'm starting at minimum and then the number of digits so the way to think about this is i'm looking at the whole number i'm not looking at anything with decimals these are salaried ranges so anything that I enter here is going to be in the negatives. So it's either going to be negative 1 if I wanted to round it to just 10. Show you what that looks like. That'll just round my 161, 137 to 140. Or I could go with number 2. Or maybe I'll just go with number 3 and have it a nice rounded to the thousands. So then I'm just going to drag it down. And then I'm also going to drag this across and then double check. It should be referencing the midpoint and the next will be referencing the max. You'll see that my formulas over here, midpoint differential and range spread changes slightly compared to what I, I originally calculated these ranges using midpoint differential and range spread that I had entered in the previous pages. So that will affect things over here as you round your numbers. So that's how you round a whole number. And then say you want to round decimal numbers. Say that I had these ranges in hourly or say I have want to convert these annual salaries to hourly ranges for L through P. I'm just going to take the annual amount divide by 2080. That's how we convert an annual salary to hourly rate. So you'll see that when I click in the cell, it's showing me the formula. So I'm not really seeing the full number, I would copy, paste special in values to get that formula out. And then now when I click on it, you'll see at the top, it's this huge long decimal. But I want some decimals. With the hourly positions, we want two decimals, but we still want it rounded. We want to round this remaining number. We don't want the strand. And sometimes this You'll run into different scenarios in compensation where you'll have to round somebody's new rates. You can't, some systems won't let you upload to payroll this long decimal number. And so we definitely need to round. So instead of using that box, you could also type it in. Just type in round. And then um, because we're doing decimals, now we don't enter the negative. We would just enter positive number with decimals. And you'll see I don't, I need to format the cells to show the decimal too. That would help. So now with a one, it's rounding that number to 650 
or possibly two. Now I can round to 653. So I'm going to go with that so it can be more exact for the hourly. And then it's rounded. And so what you would do, you could also remove the rounding formula out of here. Just copy, paste special values. And then now if I click into the cell, you'll see it really is cut off the remaining decimals and we just have two decimals here and then we're good to go. So I hope that helps and if you have any questions about that feel free to comment or post. If you're interested in this template it also will populate after you fill out your final ranges. We also have a graph over here that is going to fill out with the visual of your range progression so that's a nice feature too. I'll post links in the description comments and to get the free uh, comp metrics cheat sheet you can go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and we also have a getting started with Excel guide and some other free resources for rental property management and some small business templates. So until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets.